In this video, I'll show you how to get the user ID, uh, which is in the form of GUID uh, and other user related details using JavaScript. So to set a context, this is my model driven app. So what I want is uh, within this model driven app, I'll make use of this model driven app to just to execute the JavaScript. So take for example, if I navigate to any record, I just want to know uh, who's the logged in user, what are the user GUID, uh, those sort of information. Now, in order to do that, what I need to do is first uh, create a JavaScript file. So let me create a JavaScript file. So I have this JavaScript file over here. So let me create a new JavaScript file, new file, and I'll name it as um, JavaScript sample dot js so this is the name of the file javascript sample dot js and then from here uh, i will select a specific location so let me select a specific location so i'll do code js and i have this file over here now here i'm going to write a javascript code to retrieve the user related details so in order to do that first i'll write a function so function uh, let me maximize this and the name of the function would be get guid of user and here i will pass the execution context so basically what i need to find out like the user who is logged in i need to get the 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 context of that particular users so basically the detail of that user so in the form of a guid now i'll show you in power apps how to get that as well uh, in the back end through Dataverse browsing. So to start with where form context equal to execution context dot get form context. So this is a stock standard uh, context retrieval process. And then from here, I will just say where user quit. So you're gonna find the GUID of the user. So form context dot context. dot get user id and you put as a function and uh, just to show the guid we are going to use uh, alert method so user guid is and we can specify the user grid so this is a simple function which should give back the user guid so i'll just save this record and uh, we will copy this function name and i'll go to power app so i will navigate to power apps over here and then from here i will uh, go into the model driven apps and then i will click on planet form edit form and then once this form is edited i should be able to hook that javascript uh, within that particular events now before we do that what we need to do is first add that js right so i'll just say new uh, more web resource and i need to select that file so this is that javascript sample i will just name it as javascript sample and click on save and make sure that once you load that web resource you publish that web resource so I'll just publish this web resource. Now JavaScript sample is a file name. Uh, so I'll just go back just to get the context of that particular form. So I'll show you how to navigate to the form. So uh, what you need to do is like just go into the table and select the, the, the table. So that's a planet table, go to the forms and then from the forms, uh, what we want is like when the form content is loaded which is part of that main form i want that uh, user details to be populated so uh, this is the form detail so i want on load so on load event handler on load what i want is i want that library right now i need to add that library manually so that library is named as i think we named it as javascript sample so java sample so this is the name of that file javascript sample and we're going to pass execution context as a first parameter and the function name what we have taken is sorry 
I think that's get GUID of user. So that's the name of the function which you're going to call. I'll just click on done. Click on save and publish. And then once it is saved and published, we will uh, execute this model driven app just to see whether it is giving you the GUID of the user or not. So as you see over here, it is now giving me the GUID of that the current logged in user. Now the current logged in user is Girish and the GUID starts with C5AA. Now, how do you know this is a correct GUID? You can go ahead and verify it. So you navigate to the tables and you go to the user table. And within the user table, you will have a set of all those CRM users uh, who owns the objects in CRM database. Now, in my case, I am going to find filter by contains and the word Girish in it. And as you see over here, Girish, the user ID is C5AA9050. Let me refresh this. C5AA9050. So that means it has given me the user uh, details correct okay and then from that point onwards we can execute uh, other functions to get the other user details now within javascript we can also do other things so we can also get the username as well so in order to get the username it's again simple you just take an another variable and just name it as where user name equal to form context dot context dot get user name and i'll just copy this so first you show the grid and then you show the username so I'll just copy this username save it and the steps are pretty much similar so you just save this javascript file go to the solution click on this javascript file choose the file again this is a modified file click on save and once it is saved make sure that you publish that javascript i just close the status click on publish and once this is published you should be able to see the revised javascript which we have uploaded so control f5 it will give me the guid and now as you see over here it has given me the username as Girish Opal. right so that means it is correct so as you see over here the username is Girish Opal. First name Girish, last name Opal, and then uh, this is how basically you extract the GUID of the user and you also extract the username uh, from the backend table. Now, I showed you in JavaScript um, the function basically get user ID and get user name. Now, if you read through the Microsoft documentation, you can also access the same information using something called as a user setting property. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to do, uh, let me uh, copy this entire function over here again. Uh, this one, get using uh, user settings. So get using user settings. So same thing we're going to do. We're going to take form context is execution context dot get form context. User ID is form context dot context dot get user id so instead of using get user id what i can do is i will just take user settings object user settings object and i'll just say user id and i'll just copy this again and here instead of calling this function name i will just say form context dot user settings dot user name rest all is same but this time i'm going to use uh, i'll just show it as a settings object so settings so using the settings property i'm going to get the user guid and username so what we need to do we need to get this uh, sorted so first copy this function save this and once it is saved go back to your javascript and load this javascript once it is saved make sure that you publish this information so i'm gonna publish this information 
and in the form now we have used another function so i'm gonna go to event handler javascript sample function get using user settings it, it will do the same thing but i i'm just showing you different ways through which you can one is you access it using the property and another way is you access it using the function once it is saved and published just do a control f5 it will show you the user GUID and the username which we have already seen now here using settings it has given me the GUID so see this it is in the form of a bracket here it's proper so let me again show you what has happened so if I do a control let me do again let me do a control f5 so as you see over here use the GUID in the curly braces username user GUID in the curly braces and username but this time using the settings object so there are multiple ways through which you can do the same thing so this is just one by one comparison so you can extract the GUID in username using this function or you can use the user settings object so make sure that you go through the Microsoft documentation so Microsoft documentation would get global context or user settings you can do a whole bunch of things I've just covered a couple of things named as user ID and username so this is how you can get the value of the current user and the name of the current user using JavaScript thanks for watching